Hi everyone. I will apologise for the state that the that these phones are in. They're not my ones. They're ones that I borrowed to put on YouTube, and they are the. It was originally, I believe, called the Delta phone. And I think they were brought out by STC. Someone out there will correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right on that one. STC stands for Standard Telephones and Cables, and they were based at Footscray, which I think is in Kent. The standard name, as I have said before, was widely used. It was a branch of ITT, and um, a lot of the parts they used were very similar. They may be slightly modified, but they were similar. Now, these phones, when they came out, I believe they were one of the first phones to have the a, 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 the electronic ringer. And it was like a warbler. You either liked these or you hated them. I haven't made my mind up yet. They're obviously quite a popular phone because they are being reproduced and you can buy them on eBay as reproductions. Now, it would be interesting to say that when these first came out, obviously it was the dial version. And the dials on the original phones glowed in the dark. They, had a, a, they were slightly radioactive, but that was a long time ago. See, this one is dated 74. You've got the telephone number, a post office, batch sampled. Uh, this is probably one that has been refurbished because they did that in those days. If they went wrong, they went back to a central point and they were cleaned up. Any dodgy parts were changed and they were pushed out again because the subscribers rented these they weren't they didn't buy them but they were actually rented on the side you have the soft and and loud and no, soft show what I'm doing. soft and loud that was for the the internal warbler um as I said before, I, I don't know whether I like these phones or not. They tended to skate over the surface because they're very light. But um, oh, I suppose they're all right. The receiver and transmitter are more or less together. Um, they're built in. They're very, very small. Really are tiny. As I say, this one is just a, an appraisement of the phone without actually going inside. Um, it keeps the video a bit shorter because I tend to get carried away. Um, there's your dial. Sorry about the state. It does need a blooming good clean. But as you can see there, the it was, it was called a beta light. It was a beta light. Now, the American Princess phones have their dials lit up but that's done by a small bulb but these were actually they had it was called a beta light and it was a as far as i can remember like a tube built in and um, they did give out a bit of radiation very very small amounts probably about the same as as a watch which glows in the dark but these did last they didn't sort of last overnight and dimmed down and had to be re-energized by light they were just they were just on the whole time anyhow the later version we come to now had the press buttons and they were pulse buttons they weren't tone they were merely pulse so as you press one you'd get one pulse up to zero and that gives you your 10 pulses. 
I'm not sure, but some of these had a battery inside, I believe. I'm not sure if this is, if the trim phones did or not. But I know some of the other phones, which converted to the, uh, the press buttons, had a little rechargeable battery. The rest of it is identical. The handset's the same. The underneath's the same. It's got the little control at the side there is like the other one. The only difference I can see is this one had a, a place for the number. I only just realised that this one hasn't. So where they put the number on those I do not know. But anyhow, once again, any questions please ask. Um, I'll try and get back to, to you on it. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. As I say, these were known as the trim phone. And um, they were quite popular over here. You occasionally see them on eBay. They occasionally turn up at boot sales or flea markets. If they're in good condition, pick them up. Give them a bit of a clean and you'll have a nice little phone. Anyhow, once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and... Any questions, please ask. Thank you. Thank you.